Florida, USA, January 15, 2024. Coral, just uh, on my daily commute. Thank God I drive a diesel truck. Todos esos carros que hay ahí con los sitios prendidos, todo eso está quedado hoy. Eso es a esta hora, a las 7 y media de la noche. The bad weather and heavy rain that occurred in Florida on Monday caused flooding to hit many areas. Streets are flooding in Cape Coral, North Fort Myers, and Fort Myers, our neighborhoods received several inches of rain during Monday afternoon storms. Mira esto, man. Eso ahora es un camión que quiere irse. I'm kayaking out the street in front of our house in Florida. There's a this is the little turn off to their daycare. Some streets are impossible and cars have gotten car, stuck so in high water. Fire crews responded to a North Fort Myers gas station no, good, where they part they of the canopy collapsed, everything. injuring one person at Hancock Bridge Parkway and Orange Grove Boulevard. That's it. That's it. That's it right there. You burn, yep. Turn, you burn the engine out. According to authorities, a flood advisory is active until 7.45 p.m. Monday for Cape Coral, Pine Island, parts of Sanibel, and North Fort Myers. The meteorologist says strong thunderstorms have dropped between 6 and 9 inches of rain over areas of Cape Coral. Other areas of Lee County have experienced flooding rain totals from 2 to 5 inches of rain. You can't even see his legs. That's the flashlight he has on his head. Meanwhile, the southern part of Cape Coral experienced the worst flooding tonight. Radar estimates put a 7-inch swath from SW Cape Coral to NE Cape Coral along Del Prado Boulevard, according to meteorologists. Many areas along the Cape Coral Parkway also received more than 7 inches of rain tonight. my bike. The water has gone down. There's Andy coming out. According to the Cape Coral Police Department, all of South Cape is flooded. Chiquita Boulevard, Embers Parkway, Burns Store Road, and Nicholas Parkway are underwater. In several videos circulating on social media, the roads in Cape Coral are almost completely covered with water. Local residents said the water flow also entered their yards. Some Cape Coral residents are saying they haven't seen flooding like this since Hurricane Ian. Weather experts say to expect flooded streets through 8 p.m., especially in Cape Coral. At 6.24 p.m., Lee County Public Safety reported nearly 50 stalled cars in southern and central Cape Coral as extensive road flooding continues. They have not reported any injuries.
pero por ejemplo este gris que está Cape Coral, Captiva, Sanibel, Babcock Ranch, Fort Myers, and Lake Acres are among the areas under thunderstorm and flood warnings. Visibility can be less than one mile, creating dangerous driving conditions. Officers urge the public to stay away from the roads and as much as possible not to drive unless it is absolutely necessary. Weather experts added that early morning fog will be possible just day before a cold front approaches central Florida, injecting another batch of late morning and afternoon rain and storm 60 to 80 percent chance. Luckily, the cloudy skies will limit overall instability as the front moves overhead with a chance for a few stronger storms. Within those storms, gusty winds 40 to 50 mph, small hail and heavy rainfall will be possible. Latest forecast model runs show the front clearing by late Tuesday, with skies quickly clearing into the evening and overnight. Temperatures by Wednesday morning will fall as low as the mid to upper 30s for areas north of Orlando and 40s for the southern half. Frosty weather will also be like by early Wednesday a big portion of the area. Our neighbors are going to, don't do it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no she shouldn't go. No. Wednesday afternoon will be the coldest day of the week, with highs holding steady in the mid to upper 50s under mostly sunny skies. Followed by another chilly night, the roller coaster temperatures continue all week as a quick warm-up returns Thursday and Friday ahead of another approaching cold front. Highs for the second half of the week will rebound back to the 70s before temperatures drop for the weekend into the 50s.